Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you what Japanesque released as part of their holiday collection. Their holiday collection comes in this really fun black and red packaging. It is the Kumadori collection. So if you guys are interested in seeing what is part of this Japanesque holiday collection, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing in this collection is the Kumadori beauty sponge. And it looks like this. This is what the box looks like. You can kind of see the black and red marble design. And this is what the sponge looks like. Really cute, I've never used a marbled sponge. This one feels very similar to like the Beauty Blender consistency. Has the same amount of density, so I'll be very curious to see how this one compares to my other beauty sponges. The claims on this says it's a uniquely designed to help create an airbrushed finish for a flawless sculpted appearance. The wide end perfectly smooths creams and powders while the pointed end easily fits smaller areas of the face, like around the nose and under the eyes. For best results, moisten sponge with water, squeezing out excess, and dab sponge into your complexion product and apply to the skin in a stippling motion. Same as you do with a beauty sponge. So I am excited about using this one. Haven't tried it yet, so I will leave my um, final thoughts in the description bar below. This is just kind of like a what's in this collection video. Moving on to a fun lip product. This is the Kumadori Matte Metallic Liquid Lipstick. It says smooth, precise shimmer, and the shade is called Metallic Red. I'm gonna try this one today. So let's try this out. This is Metallic Red. The claims on this says it combines comfortable long wear with an ultra lightweight matte metallic finish. This limited edition rich dark red has the perfect amount of shimmer to add a festive finish to every holiday look. Camellia seed oil and rice bean oil Contain vitamins and proteins to soothe and moisturize your lips. A soft, tapered tipped applicator provides control and precision for a bold, immaculately defined lip. Immaculately defined. This is what it looks like. First impressions, it feels very similar to the Stila liquid lipsticks even has the same kind of fragrance. That's really pretty. I really like this color. Look how fun this is. All right, so I like this first impression. Very nice. Feels nice on the skin, not complaining. All right, next is the Kumadori Luminescent Finishing Powder, Luxurious Pearl Finish. The box looks like this. Again, with the black and red packaging and the actual powder looks like this. Comes with a flip up cap, a little poof. And then the powder is down below. So the powder's in here. Definitely, ooh, can you guys see that? Very um, glittery. So I don't think I'm going to be setting my face with this. Wow, it's like, it's like shine powder. Can you see that? You see how shiny my finger is? Just look. Hmm. All right, I'll try dusting this off with a, on with a highlight brush maybe. We'll see. Oh, you can just see the glitter in the dust that's flying off, so let's see. Whoa, can you see how much glitter just went onto my face? Actually looks pretty under the eyes but it's very very kind of sparkly I need to even it out here Ooh, this is like a highlight powder this is not a setting powder nope 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 not a setting powder it says it's a finishing powder 
It's a luxurious ultra lightweight and super fine setting powder with an immaculate soft pearl finish. Weightless formulation applies evenly and blends effortlessly. Silk powder and green tea extracts contain anti antioxidants and amino acids that combat the look of fatigue and dullness. The addition of rice bran oil also ensures no dryness. Hmm. Well, it's definitely, definitely sparkly. It would be fun for like a holiday party, but an everyday powder, not so much for me. If you like a really shimmery finishing powder, you might enjoy this. I don't know. Moving on to another shimmery product. This is the Kumadori Ombre Highlighter Customizable Glow. The package looks like this. And inside is this highlight. It's got little plastic caps on the end to keep it up so you can actually see what it looks like inside the packaging, which is fun. It reminds me a lot of the Kevin Aquan, the Neo Highlight Neo Bronzer. So let's swatch this. So on the more champagne side, this is the champagne side. That's pretty. In the middle, more of like a, what would I call this? Like a rose champagne. And then on the deepest side, I don't know how to explain this, but this looks really pretty. It's not glittery. So let's try this on the face. Let me grab a different highlighting brush. Do I have a clean one? I don't have a clean one. I'm just going to grab this shadow brush and just try it. All right, so I'm just going to sweep up and down, tap off. Ooh, that's, that's really intense. Wow. I am glowing. Right there, that's pretty. It's quite intense, but I like that. This would look really pretty on someone with fair skin, fair to light, light-ish skin. I feel like this looks really, really pretty on me and my skin's definitely going back to light. So first impression, good highlight. Next, we have some eye pencils. They come in this really cool, again, the red and black packaging, and this is the Kumadori Metallic Eye Pencil Trio Bold and Long Wearing. These are really good eye pencils. I've used them in the past. It says, this trio of highly pigmented metallic eye pencils comes with metallic black, metallic silver, and metallic gold. Everything you need for a well-dressed eyes in a water-resistant and smudge-resistant formula. So here they are. You can see the colors on the bottoms of the pencils. You have gold, silver, and black. So let's swatch them here. Here's the black one. Is that a metallic? All right, this is black with just a very hint of shimmer. It's not an obvious shimmer. Next, we'll go in with silver. These are very soft. You can see very soft. They come off very easily. You don't have to do much. That's so pretty. And finally, gold. Ooh, this one's more of like a champagne gold. It's not a yellow gold. You see that? So we have gold, which is very light. It's more champagne, definitely more champagne than yellow gold. Silver and black. I feel like I should put this one in my, on my eyes somewhere, so let's see. How about the inner corner? Woo! That is gold. Fun. I love holiday collections. They're just, they're so exciting. And then the final item in the holiday collection from Japanesque is this Kumadori highlighting trio. So clearly they were on kind of like a highlighting kick with this collection. Again, the red and black packaging. Luxurious silky powder glides on to impart a beautiful radiant glow. These soft pearl finish layers seamlessly to build from subtle highlighters to bold luminescence comes in three shades. One, golden pearl, two, bronze pearl, and three, rose pearl. I wonder if these are the same colors that come in the trio. So we will have to see. Oh, okay. So inside you get three compacts. You see that? 
and little boxes so that you can individually package them. That's a really cute idea. So if you buy this, you can individually gift the highlighters. That's really clever. Good job, Japanesque. All right, and in here we have one, two, and three. You can see the colors on the back. So let's pop these babies out and give them a go. All right, let's start with number one. Need more arm for this, let's see here. All right, so cute red packaging, a little square, pops open. You get a mirror and the highlights. So let's give this a swatch. So here is number one. That's pretty, it's like a very pale white goldish color. Very subtle, it's not, I wouldn't say it's as intense as these. Number two, bronze pearl, ooh. That'll look gorgeous on the medium to deep skin, I would say. I don't know if a fair to light could pull this one off. Here's the bronze. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's almost like a peachy gold. Love that. And then finally, we have rose pearl. This is so pretty. This looks more like a true apricot to me. Yes. You guys see them right there? They might look very similar on camera, but trust me, they're like a kind of like a very soft white gold. This one is more of like a peachy gold, and this one is more like apricot peach color. Very pretty, and it does say that they build up, so let's see if we can build this one up a little bit more. Yep, definitely. These are nice. Oh, I really want to wear these too. All right, well, I don't have anything on my Cupid's bow area, so let's try... I think I'm gonna try Golden Pearl number one with just a little pencil brush. Let's see. That's cool. Might even be a little too light for me. Let me try number two. Bronze Pearl. Yes, that's more natural looking. As natural as a highlight can be. That's pretty. I'm gonna pop a little of this under my brows too. Ooh. I like this one. I feel like this one looks really nice on my light skin. I thought this would be like a darker color, but this is really pretty. So, wrap up, let's see, we've got fun makeup sponge, gorgeous metallic matte lipstick, very comfortable, not drying at all. We have a luminescent finishing powder, which I'm on the fence about, I would not set my face with this. I would probably consider using this on my cheekbones and under my eyes for like a more glitzy look, not an everyday look. The metallic Eye pencils are so soft, so creamy. I wish they had an automatic twist. They are the sharpening kind, but that is their only flaw. These are really good. The, where is my highlighting trio? The highlighting trio is more of like an intense highlight in my opinion. It's these first three up here, a little bit more shimmery, glittery, as opposed to these that look more like a sheen but this is nice, a nice gift option for sure. I definitely like this one, we'll continue to use it. And the little highlight trio, I love that you can individually package these. They even have the same like packaging as the ser this whole collection. They've got the red and black packaging on these little individual boxes, which you can put together and gift these individually. That's such a good idea. So definitely props to them for that and for thinking of people that want to separate sets and gift them individually, great idea. So overall, I think this is a really successful holiday collection. It's all about the bling, the shine, the sparkle, which I really enjoy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this overview of the Japanese holiday collection. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Happy shopping.